Hello, I'm Elena Wajardo, co-chair of Stonewall Democrats of San Antonio. We have started early voting here in Bear County. Early voting started October 18th and runs to October 29th with the election day of November 2nd. Ladies and gentlemen of the LGBT community, my brothers and sisters, this is an important election. This election on November 2nd will promptly define our quality of life. Have you, my brothers and sisters of the LGBT community, have you read the 2010 Texas Republican Party platform? If you haven't, Google it. Just type in 2010 Texas Party, Texas Republican Party platform. You might be surprised as I was. They devoted pages 13 and 14 totally to us, to our homosexual agenda. Brothers and sisters, this is their value statement. And again, we are being used as a wedge issue. And I am tired of being seen as that, as a fear tactic to benefit the Republican Party. I want to be seen and known as valued, as a complete human being. Don't you? Well, that's what this is elec election is about for me. I want to be part and vote for candidates that stand for equality. As co-chair of, St of Stonewall Democrats of San Antonio, I'm very proud of our organization here in Bear County, because we're the only Democratic group in Bear County that endorses Democratic candidates, the only one. And when we do our endorsements in January and February, um, every candidate from co congressional to state to judicial to county come before us. And through our questionnaires, the bottom line question we're asking, through their answers, we're asking, do you stand for equality? For those candidates that best fit that equality statement, we will endorse you. And the fundraising we do at Stonewall Democrats, we give to them personally in their campaigns. Ladies and gentlemen, until we sit at the table, the policy table, we need our allies. And so I am voting for candidates that are pro-equality, pro-diversity. And I ask you to also vote that way. Now, our ballot is very long. Our ballot is extremely long. Two years ago, when we had another long ballot, there were 1,700 people that began the election on their ballot and did not finish. There's some good candidates all down the roads. So we're asking you to vote straight Democratic ticket. Um, we have an amazing opportunity at the top of our state legislature on this ballot. We have Bill White running for governor and Linda Chavez Thompson running for uh, lieutenant governor. These two people have proven themselves to be members and advocates for equality. They've proven themselves through their own past uh, journeys of career. Mayor Bill White in Houston and Linda Chavez Thompson in the AFL-CIO union in her rise to unions. Sometimes they made decisions that were uncomfortable, but they always stood for equality. And they've proven themselves through their personal stories and how they devoted themselves to equality. Some may not know here in San Antonio, but Bill White has a brother, had a brother, excuse me, that was gay who passed away. Linda Chavez Thompson, I asked her, why was she so, why was our community important to her? Why did she stand up for our community when it wasn't comfortable in our AFL-CIO days? And she says, I have family members. I've seen the approval and the disapproval. And it says, it's personal. And that's what I want. I want policymakers that see us as people, complete people. And so I'm asking, we have this incredible opportunity to elect two at the top of our state legislature that are equality minded. A lot of the, our ballot will be judicial candidates. Now, you might think, that doesn't affect me. But yes, it does. To our community, it's very, those members do affect our quality of life. For instance, uh, part of the ballot, that almost one of the last positions on the ballot is probate court. Now, you and I, sometime in our life, will go through probate, perhaps through our own death, 
or some of our family members. That became personal to me when I lost my dad and our family went through probate. You want to be standing in front of a, of, a can, of a judicial member that has good judicial temperament and sees us, especially, especially same-sex couples, as complete human beings. We have a candidate and our, our democratic ticket that sees us as people, as family. So we ask, and I'm asking you, please look at the entire ballot. Why judicial can, uh, candidates are also important is, if you're a same-sex couple that want to adopt, and you might be in Oregon, where do you go? You might not know this, but they come to Bear County. Someone in El Paso, same-sex couple that wants to adopt, where do they go? They come here to Bear County. Even Austin will come here. So I want to keep that openness in our judicial candidates that sees this as a family unit. I want to keep that open. Vote for our judicial candidates. The other thing, for those that go to gay pride, I'm always amazed that there's always consistency in judicial candidates who will apply and put their money down to come be part of our gay pride parade. When others shield themselves and they'll come, you can always count on some Congress people, some state senators, and our judicial candidates. And I applaud them for being part and feeling to embrace our community. This is an important election. It determines, I said, our quality of life here in Texas, and especially in Burr County with judicial candidates. We should not, you know, our, our, the enemy that I see right now is not the Republican Party, not Tea Party people, but is our own passiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters in the LGBT community, this is our time. This is our moment. We could be the swing vote for equality, but it will only be done by you and I getting up, going to the polls, and voting. And let me ask you, please go find five more of your friends. Don't just urge them and talk to them. Pick them up, take them to the polls, and go vote. If you have any questions regarding Bear County, where to vote for early elections, or even for the November 2nd. I'm here at Bear County United Democrats. Please call us, call us here at 210-369-9071. That's 210-369-9071. And we'll be as helpful as we can. And even if you need a ride, call us at that same number. We want you to go vote. We want everyone to do this incredible, to take advantage of of this incredible opportunity that we in the United States have. Let's go vote. Let's get these good candidates in, in office. Through our nomination process, they have proven themselves to stand for equality. And now they're asking us to stand with them. Let's vote. And let's get some good candidates in office. Thank you.